Okay, this is something that came out of me on October 12th of 2019. I was in a remnant house, but that's a long story. I'm not anymore. Anyway, this is just an example of, like, what was happening to me. Now, mind you, I had no real knowledge of the Bible or anything. Everything that I spat out was given to me in the spirit and I just kind of repeated it verbatim as I heard it so <laughs> here we go it says you ever considered that in these times and fulfilling prophecy that after you're made right with God through the process of purging and purifying that you now can speak to him face to face like Moses and be bold and stand up against the Antichrist and workers of deception and Satan like the spirit of Elijah but you should want a double portion like Elisha and be whom God created you to be and speak. You are custom made for the assignments he wants you to do. Nobody else but you can do it the way he plans and needs to set not only you free completely, but any you have interactions with. We are lethal against the enemy in God's arsenal because we walk amongst Satan and his agents. They hear us but can't see us or find us. They know God was in a place when we've done his will and quietly left. It's after we're gone, God Almighty shows himself. We are camouflaged among most and don't want the attention of enemies to have opportunities to attack us. True servants of God do the most damage in secret by not wanting the recognition of anything and made known because we don't desire glory for ourselves or try to find ways to promote ourselves. The, the Lord does that if that is his will. Who do you think we are? You think what you think, we don't think for you, but show you all the information to think for yourself. But usually we go and do what he asks without even knowing it, and we are seen as nobodies, misfits, often crazy, but there is no noise. The noise comes after something gets done. There are no titles or attention seeking, just move and speak as he commands. He will send for you. There are people quietly watching and paying attention to you. Not all are enemies. There are those watchmen on the wall that will come among others when they are meant to. Trial and error and enduring in love and obedience is how you get amongst your heavenly family. Remember, we all meet in spirit and there are those you physically fellowship with too, but most of this is in spirit and random because he is in control and must train you to elevate you may seem no one is listening or cares or that you feel rejected isolated etc you are hidden for a reason and will be until it is time to reveal everything or for certain assignments it's when we've left they recognize who we were working with no matter how small or large your roles are or encounters with others are your interactions and prophesying that god most high what god most high is saying directly to you is doing some severe damage to Satan and his plans. Speak it. If it's of God, it will line up with the Bible. Those of you who don't know or just now are reading the Bible, speak what he gives you. If it is his will at that time, you don't have to match up verses, trial and error. All that falls into place. Boom, God most high dropped a bomb on you. But sadly, so-called Christians today are too concerned about others whom they feel by their own selfish standards may or may not be for real turning to Christ or may not think them worthy. For no other reason than either fear, jealousy, or sinister intentions. And that pride is a mother shut your mouth. Before you even really tell anything about anything to folks like this, it's a Bible verse ambush. And most times, Bible verse war. To see who knows the Bible best. Yet taking it out of context and not even listening to others. Then seeking God for the answers and the right way. They do it their way. You people strangle out newborn again children of God testimonies. You murder his seeds and turn against those who are experiencing him on new levels. They are, called, they are covertly called crazy and shut down immediately if it questions these false so-called Christian beliefs or teachings, etc. If it doesn't agree with you and your selfish reasons of doing whatever it is you claim to do for God and with Jesus, why are you doing it? And who and what God is exactly you serve again? Stop with the past prophecy and with the arguing and debates about Bible prophecy already fulfilled. Stop with the Bible verse war and let Holy Spirit speak to clear the confusion and delusion of the enemy. 
Stop with the claiming to know the things you cannot. You prophesy what God tells you now. Impress us with that and teach us how we can do that or shut up. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. You and the King of Kings can and should speak directly. When you're born again, you must go through trial and error. Learn to hear his voice and it takes time. There is no middleman. Jesus the Christ died specifically for this. He is our high priest, our counselor, teacher, God, etc. To God Almighty, our Heavenly Father. So now, because you are true servants of God, Most High, He regularly speaks with you and reveals things to you as He did Moses, which should empower you to call out and stand up against anything or anyone who is against God Almighty with power like Elijah. But be bolder and do it like you, whom God called himself to fight like the warrior he created you to be the last stand against all these antichrist demons wickedness and those laws confused or whatever the situation keeping them separated and from seeing and hearing god free the captives and cast out the wickedness send send them out of our midst let jesus do the rest when you and your heaven and your heavenly father get right <coughs> and intimate this is a process and it's going to require faith in him to just walk and obey through trial and error. Just you and him developing and strengthening the relationship and getting to know him takes time and commitment. Imagine if you took the time to commit to him that time you commit to the worthless things in this world. What you can accomplish. <clears throat> when you go to the God, when you go to the God most high, the Almighty, our Creator, and our Heavenly Father yourself, every day there is no corruption or error because you are taught and speak with God Almighty himself. There may be times you have no idea what you're doing and may be working it out by practicing and releasing what he tells you, how and when and where he tells you. <clears throat> Just do it. It's better. It gets better. We all have to start somewhere. Nobody can teach you what God himself will teach you, specifically and personally for you in order to be what you are meant to be. You must learn to hear his voice and everything will work itself out. You don't need a mentor, you just need Jesus to teach you. Especially those of us who really knew nothing about nothing and are or were vulnerable to these false prophets and, prophets and antichrists. Be alone and get your learning on, one-on-one. -on -one. First, and, first and most important, keep all those voices and noises out your ear and seek vigorously. Dig and dig, ask, ask, ask. Then shut up, listen, and be still. And says, LOL, this shutting up for me was tricky and still is sometimes. Yes, that still stands today. But you will be getting downloads, revelations, and you can prophesy and should and should be if you are a child of God. I didn't say you were a prophet or placing quote unquote titles on anyone or anything. We all should desire to prophesy because the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Titles are for title mags. They can be bought, swapped, flipped, and flopped. Don't come at me with that. As you develop your relationship and he molds you and gets you to different levels or places in spirit while walking with him, he will put you with whom you need to be with whom you need to be with when you need to be with him. But often I see grown so called Christians acting petty like they in high school, trying to fit in rather than be authentic in yourself. Where folks click up in groups and tend to stay in that group depending on them to back up not only you but also what God commanded us commanded us or you personally to do. Thanking for you, not supporting you or encouraging you to think for yourself. And be close to God instead of them or anyone if it risks you stumbling. And this is pointless, dangerous, and not what he wants. You whom are authorized to do or say whatever commanded of you, you do it with or without them. Follow the Lamb wherever He goes and leave out that comfort zone before you wake up from that hypnosis you've been in, controlling your mind and recognize that you are all alone and not in that safety zone of the clique you once depended on. Because they got gone as quick as they got done with you or your usefulness, you in the battle zone. You, my friend, are being preyed upon. Everybody should be having revelations and prophesying to some degree or other. You should be listening and watching him. Be still so you can know what to do and take this to the next level. Lord, I humbly ask that whomever comes across this post, whether they read it or not, I pray in Jesus' name, all who all hear your voice and be in awe of you. I pray we all become close to you to hear and see you. 
I pray for all your people to prophesy and have their own word and experience with you if it is your will. I pray for that divine encounter with whomever it is it is that needs to hear you clear. Thank you, Father, for your unconditional love and mercy. May we all praise and worship you in the unadulterated and true way you wanted us to from day one, as you originally wanted. Teach us, Lord. I pray those who are struggling be free from what is oppressing them or keeping them in this state and can see and hear you guiding them as you do with me and all your other children. To strengthen and encourage them by correcting and convicting us to do what needs to be done to eliminate the evil and wickedness from among us causing division and confusion all glory be to you we praise you and desire to worship only you the king of kings and lord of lords you are the only king we need and want amen hmm.